found a way to protect yourself from malicious code well another way so uh if you if you just recently bought a windows 10 license this might be enabled by default although if you have an older version and i think uh before 2018 yep it says it right here um windows 10 april 2018 update brings core isolation and memory integrity security features to everyone uh, but memory protection is off by default for people who upgrade so to check if you actually do have this you can just simply type in memory integration you'll be taken here and you see I have it off right now but I could turn it on uh, this only takes effect after I restart my computer and actually I don't think I meet all the requirements just yet I actually have to check if I do so what are some of the requirements um you need to have uh here you can read this here some core isolation features are enabled by default that meet certain hardware and firmware requirements uh including having a 64-bit cpu which i do have and tpm 2.0 chips i don't know if i have this it also requires your pc support the Intel VTX or AMD V virtualization technology, and that's enabled in your PC's UEFI settings. When I first got this computer, I was messing around with the UEFI settings, so I might have turned this off. I I do remember the the, the option being there. Um, so I do have to look. I have to have to look into that. But so why? Why should you even turn this on? Well, okay, here. Memory integrity is a feature of Windows that ensures code running in the Windows kernel is securely designed and trustworthy. It uses hardware virtualization and hack to protect Windows kernel mode processes from the injection and execution of malicious or unverified code. That could be malware, malware viruses, you know, uh, rootkits. The integrity of the code that runs on Windows is validated by memory integrity, making Windows resistant to attacks from malicious software. Memory integ integrity is a powerful security boundary that helps block many types of malware from running Windows 10 and Windows Server 2016 environment. So, if you're worried about the integrity of your, your system, this might be something that you want to enable. Uh, just one of the things, again, you do might want to check out is... Um, just these requirements here you know and see if you meet them and if you do then you could easily just turn this on uh, like on that note let me see I wonder if that thing turned off you see it just turned right back off you know I might not uh, my system might not be able to do this uh, for maybe a multiple multitude of reasons uh, yeah, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comment section and or shoot me an email. I'm going to look into this a little bit further. Uh, right now it is about to be 5 a.m. here. So, uh, yeah. Have, uh, yeah, have a great day.